my channel. I'm Veronica with Nurturing Connections Homeschool, where I share encouragement, resources, and custom planners to help you connect with what matters most. Now, right now, I'm in the midst of wrapping up a homeschool year and planning for the next, and so I had out all my binding options and spines and everything else, and I thought I'd share that with you just in case it could be helpful for anyone who's just getting started or looking for some good options for putting together a custom homeschool or home planner and or putting together printables and printing out curriculums for next year. So stay tuned, I'm gonna flip the camera and I'll go ahead and show you what I have. Now for the summer season, I'm going to do some quick videos like this where I'm just gonna take you step by step through my planning process. Right now, I'm in the process of closing up and wrapping up last year's materials and putting together this year's and I had all of my different binding systems out and different printables out and so I thought I'd share with you what I use. Now I have a number of resources that I use, a number of different binding systems. You do not need all of these by any means. It's just what I've accumulated over 11 years of homeschooling. So these are the pieces that I've put together that have helped me and worked for me. And I just thought I'd share it just in case any of it could be helpful for you. So I've ended up with a disk system for my planner, but I'm going to pause here and kind of take you back to where I started. Now, initially, when I would print out planners or curriculums or free printables and that kind of thing, I would get everything bound at the store. So they would use this type of binding. It would have a darker color cover in the back and a clear sheet in the front. So this ran about four or five dollars at the time and I would just have things bound for the kids. Now the pro of this is it was easy. I would just take it to the store and get it done. The con was that once it was bound, I couldn't take it out. So I couldn't change the order of these pages. I couldn't move things around. It was a done deal. So this worked for a while, but I eventually wanted something that gave me a little bit more flexibility. Now, apart from this, of course, I have used a binder. So typical binding system, this is just my binder. What I've included in here are all of my student goal sheets. And so this includes, for example, the preschool and kindergarten um, bucket planners for my children. It includes the books that we've read, the resources, and so forth. So I kept these, and then I do have goal sheets that are part of my bucket planning system, and I keep that every year in here along with the curriculum pages. Um, to document the curriculums that we've used. So this is just my binder. This is great for keeping everything together when I want it all in one place. Um, however, it is bulky and it's something that I really don't want to be messing with all the time, but it is something that goes on the shelf and I only pull it out about once a year to track our progress. You can also opt to do something like use um, these protective sheets. So I use these for their por portfolios. I don't have to hole punch. Everything's already done for me. And then I just slide everything into the sleeves. So I have used these types of sheet protectors. That's what I was looking for. These types of sheet protectors for things like their art portfolios. I've used it to um, house curriculum from time to time for doing lessons that have lots of copies. I'll plug them in here and then I can easily pull them out as I need them. So this is a great system for those types of things. Now since then, I have worked my way to a comb binding system. Now this was a gift given to me and it has been such a blessing. I use my comb binding system to bind printables and curriculum for the kids. So I print everything out and then um, I simply hole punch it with this. So as an example, this would just go in my comb binder. And I'd continue on and then I would just stick everything up here and put the comb in it. The good thing about this is it's all bound. It looks great. It does flip all the way around on its back, which is nice. You can't do that with a binder, of course. Um, the only con to this is if you want to add anything to it, it is a bit of a hassle to do that. So I use this only for things that need to be bound as is. This is not something we're going to add to. 
this is all it is and then I just do booklet by booklet so this was for example quarter two I'm making quarter three and so forth with the comb binding system I've also used this for readers notebooks for writers notebooks um, prayer journals and things like that so just some ideas for the comb binding system these are relatively cheap to purchase you can buy them in bulk and um, they work really well for binding at home. Now another system I use is the ProClick system. Now this is more expensive. This runs roughly about $100. You can just do a few pages at a time when you do that. It creates a number of holes at the end here. So I'll go ahead and model that here for you. You can see there are the holes, and then what you use for the spines are the ProClick spines. And so you'll see they look like this. But the neat thing about these is that they open and close. So once you open it with this little device, you would pop them open. You can add in your pages like I've done here. This is where I keep my bucket planner. But if I ever need to make changes to this, I want to add in pages or anything like that, then all I need to do is open it up, use my tool. I can take out pages, I can put in pages. And then I just close them back up and so forth. So it's a neat tool, you can flip it on its back, you can close it. They sell these in bulk, and I will say that the larger spines, um, you have to get larger quantities, so it's a little bit more expensive, but you can get a good amount of these that hold about 85 pages for a good price. So this is a ProClick system. I have really liked it for the kids' personal checklists or student planners that they have because I do it every quarter. I use these checklists. I run off copies. Then I go ahead and hole punch them and I stick them in six weeks at a time. So I like using it for things like that. I like using my ProClick for uh, my own personal planners. This is actually what I've used up until this past semester. So I've really liked it. It's something that I can add to as needed. It's flexible and definitely has paid for itself. If I had you know, paid every time to take it to the store at four or five dollars a pop. By this point, I would have already spent double over that because the kids love these things too. They make their own booklets. We just use cardstock or we laminate the covers and um, it makes some great little books, booklets, ideas that they can put together in their journals and so forth. So this is the ProClick system. Really neat. I'll go ahead and link all of this below. So if you're interested in finding out more, you can go ahead and do so. Now what I'm using now for my personal planner is the disc binding system. So I have opted to buy the ARC from Staples. And these are some sample planner pages from my new planner. So all I would do is punch it in here. And this creates the holes I need for a disc system. So what that looks like is this. I purchased this notebook, as you can see, and it came with gold discs, but I bought some larger discs because I wanted to be able to hold about 150 pages. So these are 1.14 of an inch. And when I open it, you can see these are the pages I still need to have um, hole punched but all I'll have to do is pop these in and it's done. I can add tabs at the top. I can add these plastic tabs here. Um, I can easily move pages around just by popping them off or putting them back in. So I love the flexibility it offers. I also like that it could go on its back. So I can write here or I can have it side by side open like this and have my full month spread just like that. So this is the disc bound system. You can purchase the discs relatively cheaply. 
Um, it's just finding your covers if you want something a little nicer that may cost a bit more. I purchased this notebook and then I just basically put all those pages in the back or took some of them out, the lined pages that it came with, and then replaced it with my own planning system in here. You want to stress when using something like a disc mount system or when planning out a custom planner, you will want to use a more, um, more high quality paper. So in this case, I used a 32 pound paper. Sometimes I would use 28 as well. Um, but what I like about the 32 is that I can write on this and it will not show through on the other side. So definitely something to consider if you are going to print like a custom planner like this where you want to be able to print it two-sided and write on both sides. You want to make sure that it's not bleeding through and um, showing up on the other side. Now, on the other hand, when I print out the kids' printables and curriculums, and I just use a regular copy paper for those things, um, and it's not as important because I'm not writing front and back all the time. I'm usually just printing it on one side. So this is what I'm using right now. It's really neat. I like it personally. I probably wouldn't do this for the kids or to make booklets. I would stick with my ProClick, but this has been a great option for my own personal planner and um, setting it up for the year. So I'm working on that right now. These are the monthly spreads that I have just printed out for the upcoming year. And I am so excited to be able to share all this with you. So stay tuned. I'll be making some quick videos here and there, taking you through that planning process that will hopefully inspire you in your own planning and help you set some good goals for the upcoming year so that you can focus on the most important things and work toward those goals. So thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please give me a thumbs up on your way out, subscribe, share with a friend, and I hope to see you here next time.